Well, the FBI has been called in to help with the investigation into the deaths of American tourists visiting the Dominican Republic. You know, several of those deaths happening at neighboring resorts. Some of those deaths, as we mentioned, just happening in just the past few days. But now, now deaths in months past are also being probed. While autopsies have been performed in the Dominican Republic, but are now planned, more are planned here in the United States as the remains of those who died more recently are returned home. All of this raising questions for people who might have travel plans this summer. What rights do you really have and your family members if something goes tragically wrong overseas? And can you right now back out of your travel plans if you'd rather not take any chances? WATE 6 on your side anchor Lori Tucker walks through the issues with attorney Greg Isaacs. Well, we are talking about the law and travel overseas with help from WATE 6 on your side, legal analyst Greg Isaacs. Thank you for being here, Greg. It's good to be here, Lori. A lot of people talking about this. It's the summer travel season. A lot of people from our area go to the Dominican Republic area. Uh, and, of course, we've seen headlines about Americans dying in resorts there. So, Greg, our first question is, uh, what legal issues does this raise? We go over there heaven forbid the worst case scenario happens, but we become ill. What legal recourse do we have? Lori, it raises a whole spectrum of legal issues. Uh, in the last year, there have been seven people, one just confirmed uh, mm -hmm. within the last 24 hours that actually had ties to Knoxville, mm -hmm. of individuals dying from mysterious uh, deaths, uh, respiratory issues, heart attacks at a relatively early age with no pre-existing health conditions. There have been a, a myriad of speculation whether they have been poisoned from drinks from a mini bar, uh, etc. There's no hard and fast answers at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the legal issues are, are many. And for example, the first thing is, what is the proximate cause of the deaths? And did the hotel uh, have a duty? Did the individuals that, that mm -hmm. uh, did the sealed containers of alcohol have a duty? Uh, that's but what the first if you step. don't know? We don't know. But yeah. the Dominican has asked the FBI uh, and the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, mm -hmm. to come in and investigate. They think it's going to take at least 30 days. Uh, the U.S. consular, the embassy's involved. Uh, one thing you need to know if you have a loved one involved mm -hmm. uh, in a death overseas, uh, they are very proactive. If you go to their website, uh, they are charged with identifying citizenship, notifying the next of kin. They will tell you how to pay to get your loved one returned. Uh, if not, they, they will help you dispose of the body. Uh, just They will act as an interim conservator. Uh, they will get the, uh, the, the belongings and ship them back. But here's what needs to happen from a legal perspective mm -hmm. right now. What is the proximate cause of these deaths? Or, right. or is someone being poisoned? Is someone doing this? You can't file a lawsuit unless you have a good faith basis to know. Very quickly, we're almost out of, of time, but say I had plans to go to this area and I hear about all this, how can I get out of my deal? Well, it's typically a contractual thing. Yeah. You know, the hotels have to use reasonable care, so now they're on knowledge, so th hopefully they'll be more vigilant protecting people. Mm -hmm. Cruise ships, airlines, typically it's a contractual issue. But again, right now we don't know if it's just serendipity that six people died of heart attacks. So, you know, is there That's a legal a basis to, to recover it? Uh, yeah. Race hips a local or a legal pr uh, doctrine that says maybe you can presume negligence. But, Lori, there may not be a serial killer. There has been a lawsuit filed for a million dollars. Two people that stayed in the Dominican got mm -hmm. sick from an organic phosphate insecticide. Uh, so maybe there is another explanation. But mm -hmm. hopefully we'll know in 30 days. But, you know, right now, the lawyers and all that, you can't act until you know why these people are dying. All and, right. Um, it's unfortunate. Stay it tuned. is. We still have a lot of questions. Greg, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everyone, if you have any questions for Greg, just send an email to askisaacs at wate.com and be sure to tune in to WATE 6 on your side news at 530 every Wednesday to see if he answers any of your legal questions.